hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel so i wasn't planning on coming on today but i do i was feeling like i should so i decided to come on and do a reading this is just going to be a quick reading about you and your person and what energy you're moving into or what's next for the two of you again it's not going to be a super long reading but just i wanted to use some decks that i don't use a whole lot so yeah for pile one we have the nightmare before christmas tarot and we have this amethyst heart. For pile number two, we have the anime tarot and this piece of Labradorite. It's beautiful, it matches my ring. And for pile number three, we have the Lord of the Rings tarot and this piece of clear quartz. So if you need a minute, feel free to pause it here and I will see you at your pile. Hello pile one and welcome to your pile. So if you chose the Nightmare Before Christmas and this Amethyst Heart, this is going to be a reading about you and your person or you and your connection and what's coming next. Let's just make some room. There we go. So I hope you guys are all doing well today. First I'm gonna shuffle your tarot. So this is a deck that I don't use a lot. I don't know why. I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. So let's see what's going on between you and your person. I also have some oracle cards that we're gonna take a look at to get a better idea. Interesting. This is the Four of Wands, um, the 11-11 card. Very interesting. All right, so these are nice and shuffled now for your reading. The sun is setting, so I am gonna be turning on a light here soon. Um, so the lighting might look a little different. So for your Oracle cards, we have, I'm sorry, defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. We have potential. And remember, this is you and them. We have Peace, the Otter and the Cattail. And then I chose a tarot card for each of you to represent energies. So just take it how it resonates. We'll see what happens here. We have the Nine of Acorns, which I believe is the Nine of Wands. No, yes. I'm going to have to look at that. And we have the nine of acorns, power and perseverance. So yeah, I am going to have to, let's see here. Let's just make some room without knocking anything on the ground. We'll just make room here. There we go. Much better. So... What I'm seeing, well, I'm actually gonna get some, I wanna actually get the tarot as well before I begin. So let's get, the way that I'm looking at this, the way that I'm taking it is that I believe, I'm gonna interpret it as this is the viewer and this is the viewer's person, but it could be reversed. So just keep that in mind. So first we're gonna look at your energy. What are your thoughts or feelings about this connection? What are your thoughts? We have the Nine of Pentacles. What is your person's? Wow, okay. That's very interesting. Um, sorry, this is the Ten of Swords. So let me just see if I can, oh, I can't see you over there. Gosh darn it. Ah. <laughs> Will this work? Does that work so that we can see everybody? I don't know. Anyway, I want to be able to put tarot underneath as well and have it fit. 
I'm sorry to put you through this pile one. I'm just going to play around with this for a minute. There we go. Do we need light yet? I'll turn the light on. There we go. All right. So again, I feel this is you and this is your person, but we'll see what happens when we get into the energy. There, that's good enough. And now we can see everything. Perfect. So you are coming up in the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Your person is coming up as the Ten of Swords. I want to get one more. Um, let's get another for you for thoughts and feelings. What are your thoughts and feelings about this connection? Ooh, that one bounced off my thumb. Hi, Priestess. For your person, one more for your person. The King of Cups. That's kind of the energy I was getting. This is amazing. I feel like this is a pretty clear message. Um, what could be hindering this? Ooh, the King of Wands. I kind of want to start here. Do I? Yeah, I do. I'm going to take that. So we're going to start here and then we'll get the other cards as we go because I kind of want to talk about this. So we have the King of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. More water. We have some air. So guys, I'm getting a pretty clear message of what's coming next for you and your person, because this is like a you and them to have a look at what's going on. And, you know, I started off with, I want, I was, when I was channeling, I said, show me the, the energy of the viewer. And what I see here is that what's coming next is you are going to be focusing on yourself. Um, you know, it's interesting because we see this very strong wildcat and it looks like they're in front of the moon. Um, this is an energy of not giving up, but I feel like you've been through a lot with this person. So you might be at the point where, you know, you're trying to persevere forward. Um, I wanted to read this cup for you, or this page for you. It says, fueled by faith. And you know, you're coming up with high priestess. So right now you're being fueled by your faith. You're being fueled by your intuition. Um, with the nine of pentacles, the nine of presence, I see that you could be focusing on your own energy right now, or what this is what's coming. So you could be putting more focus on yourself. I'm also, you know, we see this figure facing this way. Um, so you could be not super focused on this connection, or you could be taking some time to work on yourself here and to focus on yourself. Um, you could have your walls up with this person right now. But yeah, I wanted to read this. So fueled by faith, mysterious panther is an empress of reclaiming her power. With heightened awareness, she is prepared for any opposition. Her resilient spirit shines when faced with the dark side of the moon. Panther will help guide you safely as you face your fears and defend your position. By taking the right steps, your hard work on a venture is coming to fruition. You have invested a great deal of time and energy, and you're on guard. Fear not, for your perseverance is about to pay off, and your efforts will prove victorious. And the keywords are cur courage, perseverance, patience, resilience, determination, reward, knowledge, stability, power. So to me, I feel like you've experienced delays in this connection. And it's, I feel like you've been through a lot with this person. And I feel with this high priestess energy and this nine of pentacles energy that, you know, 
I believe you see the potential with this person. I believe that you see the connection, the very special connection. Um, we did have the four of wands come out right away. So this could be, it could be a twin flame connection. And I, I think that you're at the point where you are trusting in this. You're trusting in your higher self. And while that doesn't mean you're giving up, you're not giving up. But, you know, it looks like in the near future or right now, you're more focused on your own journey and your own stability. And it's interesting because I think that's what your person needed. I think that they were either taking you for granted or they, you know, maybe they thought your energy would always be there. They could always come back. I feel like you've hit a point where you know what this connection is. You know that it's a very important connection and that maybe you are in that empress energy and you know, maybe you're thinking, if I love something, let it go. If it returns, it was meant to be. You could be in that mentality. Um, I do believe you see the potential with this person. At one point, I think that you guys did have, it could have been in the beginning, but a very harmonious connection. Um, but I feel like, I almost feel like this person was, we have the King of Wands, so this could have been like, you know, somebody who was trying to dominate or control the situation. It's a fiery energy, but we're not into those cards yet. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. So yeah, on your side, we see you. I feel like you're really stepping into your power and... You're stepping into your power in a healthy way. It's not that way like, I'm going to do better for myself and they can go get bent or whatever. <laughs> whatever people say <laughs> in my comment section. <laughs> this is an energy of, I know that that connection is special. I know that we'll have another chance. I know that I've done everything I can. And now the only thing I can do is work on myself. And what happens when you work on yourself your vibration rises and you start pulling this person's energy back in. Um, nines are about evolution of self. So we see you are in, like we have nine nines. So you are in this energy where you are evolving. What's really interesting though, is that your person is also in a nine energy. And I believe, I believe it was caused by you standing in your power and either walking away or putting up boundaries or saying that, you know, if you want, if you want this connection, this is what I want. And I deserve equal give and take. I don't know. I don't know why I just said that. Maybe you didn't have equal give and take. Um, there's a reason that I say these things. I feel like this person put you through a lot with the mountains here, but you still love them. You still see their potential. And maybe they couldn't even see their own potential. But, you know, when you're in Empress mode, when you're in this Nine of Pentacles where you're working on yourself, that is part of the journey. And it does help this person to also grow. It helps them to... It helps them to realize what they're missing. Um, you become, when you focus on yourself, you become even more irresistible, I'm hearing. And it's, you know, it is an energy thing. Um, so your person's, so that's, I think that you're, you know, focusing on yourself. You could be focusing on your spiritual journey with the high priestess. You could be you know, going within and really, if you are a counterpart, you could be taking your mission very seriously, trying to find out what your mission is to help this along. Um, your person, what I'm seeing is because you've made some kind of move here or you've shifted your focus onto yourself, maybe even if you're talking to this person, maybe you're not as responsive as you used to be and they notice it. And it has changed something in their energy here. Your person is coming in as the nine of shells and they are looking right over in your energy as you're not even looking at them. 
Um, I feel that there was some kind, there was something that happened where you decided to focus, focus on yourself. And this person with this 10 of needles, that's the 10 of swords, this person's ego took a hit here. And I think that, I think that it really made them realize how much they care for you. It's interesting because on your side, there's a lot about focusing on yourself and your own growth. And on your person's side, they seem to be in their emotions about you and it's causing them to, you know, it is causing them to realize how deeply they feel for you and that you are their wish fulfillment. They could have lost you and, you know, I just get this feeling of being taken for granted in this pile. And now that you're pulling your energy back or you're maybe you went no contact with them, maybe you blocked them, all of a sudden this person is full of gratitude towards you and you know this person's looking over at you with a lot of love right now. I do believe this person had to experience this ending. I did see a tower, the tower card with these two. So I feel like there had to be some kind of tower moment to wake this person up because they could have been repeating a pattern. We do have, I'm sorry, defensivelessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. It's also very interesting how we have this image of the two mirrors, like they're two mirrors. And I believe that it could have taken this person a while to go through this ego death and to realize their past wrongs and to stop being defensive about it. Because I feel like your person could have been defensive in the past with this King of Wands. Um, your person is very deep in their feelings about you right now, very deep with the King of Cups. I believe they're thinking about you a lot. Again... I'm hearing like you don't know what you have until it's gone. And this person is realizing what they had and now it's gone. Uh, for what's blocking or hindering this connection, hidden factors, we have the King of Candles and we have Temperance. So I don't normally get this message. It's possible that you have, maybe you have, somebody else in your energy like a king of candles type of person a king of wands and it's you know king of wands it's fire it can be maybe it's sexual um that's only for some of you though what i'm seeing is that this person was in king of wands energy and i feel like they weren't um you know, temperance card, the temperance card talks about things needing to be in balance or there being an imbalance of energy, especially if you're a divine feminine and a divine masculine. If those energies aren't balanced, uh, the connection can't actually progress. I'm sorry about my dogs barking. They're all worked up tonight. They're still barking. I'm just looking something up. So I feel like in the past, yeah, I feel like your person could have been, they could have been very like, maybe non-committal. I know that usually I say that with the Knight of Wands, but I am seeing it here with this energy that they also could have been trying to control this connection, control the outcome, control different aspects of it. Or, you know, this can talk about someone who's in the past, they could have been very arrogant, um, but they are coming in as the king of potions. Right now, their energy about this is the king of potions. I believe in the past, they were too arrogant to admit their past wrongs. I feel like it's possible that you, you already, I believe you have already, you know, done a lot of healing work looking at your shadows. And I believe this person 
was in a very arrogant headspace where they couldn't. It's like they couldn't take accountability for their actions or they couldn't clean up their side of the street, I'm hearing. And, you know, like I said, as long as if something's out of balance, it's hard for the two of you to come back together. I do believe your person is in a better place right now. Um, again, I feel like you're empowering yourself and it's like, it's, it's got their attention and I'm not talking, again, I'm not talking about in a manipulative way. It's not like, oh, I miss what I have, so I might as well go back. It's not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, they don't even understand it. It's possible that you pointed something out to them that nobody has ever I feel like people have pointed it out to them, but they've been in this King of Wands, this arrogant energy, so they couldn't actually learn from it or see it. Oh my goodness, hang on. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, my dogs are all worked up because um, my sister came to say goodbye to my kids today. She's moving away. So of course my kids are... Um, <laughs> They're not doing like they're emotional and my dogs are picking up on the energy. My dogs are, I don't know if you guys have animals, but animals pick up on your energy. Um, so my dogs are a little high strung right now because my kid's energy is all a little whack. Okay, so yeah, I feel like in the past, this person could have made these mistakes or treated someone in this way, but that person wasn't important enough to them to change so they would just you know okay we're not compatible i'll move on um but there's something about you that this person can't stop like they're gravitating towards you here i do believe you bring this person's life a lot of peace and perhaps when you perhaps when you pulled your energy back they really felt the void in their life of this peaceful energy of, you know, if it is counterparts, even if it isn't, um, when, you, when you're in love with someone, they can bring you a lot of comfort and peace. Um, you know, maybe you guys have seen them on TikTok, but those TikToks about how when you're comfortable with someone, you'll fall asleep in their presence. It's, it's that kind of safety. I feel at one point you did have that. This card also talks about returning to that, that peace and tranquility um are going to be returning so again i do see that your person is waking up a little here and they're very focused on what they did wrong in the past and how to write it and i do believe when they you know when they can take action towards you or when they can communicate this um i think it's going to empower both of you so let's see what else comes out yeah, we had the tower on the back, so, and the Knight of Pentacles. So this person could have been moving, like, or they could have been not, they, they, maybe they seemed like they weren't dedicated to this, or they were moving really slowly, or things didn't seem like they were evolving, and you felt like you needed to do something, because that's what happens in connections like this. The energy can become very stagnant, and if the energy becomes stagnant, where, you know, if you're evolving and growing and this person isn't, um, the energy can become very stagnant and energetically you start to rise above them and there needs to be a tower moment to shake the energy up. And again, I'm not even saying you did it on purpose. These We, we can have these tower moments, they just happen. Um, I don't know why people think that I'm talking about doing things, <laughs> these things on purpose. Like it's, um, I'm not saying that you felt like the energy was boring. So you purposely like made this person's life a tower moment. That's not what I mean at all. I mean, for example, if this person wasn't meeting you halfway, if this person wasn't giving as much as you were, you intuitively would have been guided like if the energy becomes stagnant, that's when your spirit guides push you to do something or they push, you know, it's not anything that you're doing on purpose or they're doing on purpose. It's energy. Anyway, I feel like I could 
go around and around in a circle about that and never feel like I'm proving my point. <laughs> oh, thank you to the person who left me the comment. You probably won't even watch this video, but you left me a comment about my giggling and about how it's a high vibration. So thank you. Um, and about how it reminds you of your sister. And I just wanted to say, I am sending you lots of love and your sister. I know that your sister's with you. So I'm blowing you a kiss. Mwah. <laughs> All right, so I want to see advice for you. What advice do you have about this connection? You could be working, oh my goodness, yes. You could be working on your spiritual journey and that has increased the vibration here. Um, very interesting. This is your advice. We do have the sun and we have the chariot. So to me, this is, this is advice of, I'm sorry about the lawnmower noise. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just going to pause and come back. Hang on. Hi guys. <laughs> I think that you and this person have all had a lot of interruptions because I've never had this happen in a reading, but I've had so many interruptions and I keep having to pause it because someone's mowing the lawn and it's very loud. Uh, right now it's okay, but... Whenever they come, it's one of my neighbors, whenever they come a little closer, it gets really loud. So I'm almost certain that you and this person have been through a whole bunch together. Maybe there's been like on and off again energy or maybe, you know, you're ready, but they're not. And then they're ready, but you're not. There's an energy about a lot of interruptions. Um, anyway, let's see how loud it gets and if I can keep going. I wanted to read about this Nine of Shells energy. Now remember, this is your person's energy. So take it as what they're going through. It could be talk, like it'll talk in, I don't know what the, anyway, um, your person's energy. Penguin is proficient at diving deep down beneath the surface of common perception to access what is needed to bring in dreams into fruition. Determined and insightful, he is your guide in the unfolding of a bright future. Penguin may not be able to fly, but that doesn't keep him from soaring. His gratitude radiates, casting a wave of awakening across the sky. Enjoy the rewards of your past efforts. Remain appreciative of good things. That's interesting because we were talking about how I didn't think this person appreciated you. Um, and take flight into new scopes of your being. With the power of inspiration, you are the master of building your own reality. So it's we have happiness, gratitude, wishes, fulfilled, comfort, triumph, inspiration, abundance, rewards. I do believe this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. And they may have only just recently awakened to the fact because you pulled your energy away. And they were like, wait a minute, where did that person go? Now, I was talking before we got interrupted, I was talking about what's coming next. Um, no, this was your advice. The advice from spirit of how to move forward. We do have the chariot and the sun. So those are two major arcana cards. And I do believe that spirit is saying that you're on the right path and that there's that mower. It'll, it'll quiet down in a second. So I'm just gonna push through because I want to be able to do your reading. Um, maybe that's maybe that's an energy that you can relate with. That I just want to push through. I just want union. I don't know. Um, so yeah, we have the chariot here. So I do believe that spirit's saying that you're on the right path with this chariot card, and that focusing on your own journey is only going to raise the vibration that this person feels towards you. This is very powerful energy with the sun. Oh my gosh <laughs> interference oh my gosh stop mowing your lawn <laughs> i even have all my windows shut but it's so loud um so yeah this is you know this is the type of energy i talk about that people are drawn to when you have a really good connection and you share that beautiful energy um, so just keep shining a light on yourself, I believe, and your own journey. This is also Divine Masculine, so this is confirmation that this person is 
stepping into divine masculine and you know this card talks about this person diving deep right now and i do believe they are reflecting on their ego and how they wronged you in the past and how much peace you brought to their life and how much potential they saw with you um the sun is also the yes card so whatever you came here hoping for whatever you came here you know wondering spirit saying yes like that's a big fat yes from the universe that whatever you're hoping for is going to um is going to come into fruition you know the nine of cups talks about looking deep within and then being in an energy where you can make things happen so depending on how you are communicating with this person i do believe this person is going to take action towards you uh let's see Let's see what's coming next for the two of you. We're gonna get two cards for this one. What's coming next? What's coming next? Maybe you need to mow your lawn. <laughs> wow. We have the three of potions and the lovers and the hierophant. Isn't that a beautiful card, you guys? That's one of my favorite lovers card for a while, lovers cards. For a while, I I took a picture of it and had it as my background on my phone. A tarot reader once told me that if there's an energy you want to be in or achieve, put it on your um, lock screen or your desktop so that you're constantly seeing it and you're constantly exposed to the energy. Another thing you can do is actually set the card of the energy that you want to achieve, even if it's with someone, so like union, and set the card up where you can see it, like right before you go to bed. Um, it just helps visualize and embody that energy and raise your vibration. Anyway, um, it just reminded me of that when I did that, because I, I had this as my lock screen for quite a long time, and of course this resonates with or i had it on my lock screen because you know i was dealing with a counterpart trying to find my way um the three of potions is the three of cups so i think you know this is at least friendship here what's coming next next but in love this actually symbolizes i know everybody says friends but this actually symbolizes someone who wants to give or have a benefit mutually beneficial romantic relationship so this is someone you know who's gonna say i didn't give you enough in the past i want to be a team player now i want to provide for you in the way that you are providing for me i want to make your life as happy as you make mine i want to be a presence in your life a present presence <laughs> they want to be a present in your life <laughs> You know, your nine of presents right here. So they want to be that last present that, you know, makes you, they want to be present enough to experience 10 of presents with you. Hee <laughs> hee. Bad jokes. I'm here all week. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, this could be about friendship, but this, you know, I do feel that in the near future here, you guys are going to find your way back to each other. I do feel that whatever you did here to focus on yourself has really caught this person's energetic attention. Again, it's not a game. It's not that this person wants what they can't have or whatever other things that people say. It's energetic. Um, again, you're the one worth facing their ego. Nobody's ever been worth that before. Um, and I can, I can say that I experienced that in my journey. I didn't want to face my shadows until I met my counterpart who was brave enough or actually reflected my shadows back onto me. But, um, you know, they saw past my shadows and these connections are so important. Um, anyway, you're, you're the catalyst in this person's journey is what I'm hearing. 
So yeah, the lovers also represents a choice. And like I said, we have Hierophant on the bottom. So to me, this is saying that you guys are going to go through some... I feel like this person's going to come back towards you here or you're going to go towards them. Take it as it resonates. Um, usually I get like some messages about the status of things. All I'm seeing right now is that you're working on yourself and they are focused on you, whether you're together or in separation. Um, but this is about... I feel like you guys, once this person looks at their shadows and has this ego death and, you know, takes action towards you, brings clarity towards you, if that's how it's going to play out, um, this is about evolving spiritually and this is about spiritual wisdom. It's also about higher... Oh, look! <gasps> they want to be present in your life. Remember my bad joke? Remember? They want to be that last present. Ten of Pentacles. They want to be a present in your life. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is also higher level of commitment. So you could elevate your level of commitment with this person. So if you're in, you know, friendship right now and they're, you know, drawn to you, it could evolve into dating. If you're dating, it could evolve into commitment. If you're committed, it could evolve into moving in together. If you're moving in, or if you've already moved in together, it could be marriage. Take it as it resonates. Uh, so I did ask for two cards. That's what came out. I'm going to ask one more. What's next? One more card, please. What's next? The Two of Cups. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups here. So somebody... There is a rekindling of this connection here, um, an exchange of energy. So again, that could be different for all of you. I do feel it's romantic though, whatever this exchange is that's coming. Again, I feel like this person is coming towards you with a choice or maybe they're gonna tell you, you know, what they want here. Well, that's very nice. Um, there's such a beautiful outcome coming here. I want to see if spirit has any last words. I always, I like to do this. I give spirit one more chance, like anything we absolutely have to know about this connection. This is your last chance in tarot anyway, to speak spirit through me. <laughs> anything else we have to know. Forward movement, incoming communication. Eight of Wands, so this is, you know, this is Spirit saying this is coming. Uh, if you haven't heard from this person, you're about to hear from them. That's confirmation of forward movement with this person. Very beautiful, very beautiful. All right, what I'm gonna do now, because we already have these Oracle cards out, I'm going to get, some cards about you and them in this connection from this oracle deck here it is a huge deck so we'll see what comes out what you have to know any advice we'll leave it open usually what i do is i shuffle it once sorry when i say shuffle it once i mean i shuffle out of it once so i shuffle through it one time and then whatever cards come out are meant for you it is a general reading, so not all of them are going to resonate. So just take it as it resonates. Uh, we do have Gemini energy here. Okay, so Spirit, what does Pile 1 need to know about them and their person? What does Pile 1 need to know about them and their person? What does Pile 1 need to know about them and their person? Guys, it's dark out and somebody's mowing. Um, I never got through it once because I accidentally... Anyway, I'll just keep going. I'll go through it one more time. Messages for pile one. cards coming out. 
Okay. I'm going to keep it there and we'll go. This is a lot. So, you know, I'll talk about most of them. Some of them I might just read. We'll see what the messages are. Guys, do you like Christmas? Nightmare before Christmas. It's almost Christmas time. I love Christmas. Um, I may even get Christmas decks and do Christmas readings. <laughs> I love Christmas. All right, I know we don't need these to be neat anymore, but I just like touching them. Stepping stones, the process of arrival, step-by-step, step, way out, how to, keep on going, baby steps, progress, spiritual growth. So keep, that was your advice from spirit, was keep going on this path that you're on. Keep focusing on yourself, that it is causing spiritual growth, not just in you, but in this person, because you're mirrors. Um, that also equals eight, uh, eight which is uh, strength. Solutions, yes. <laughs> Insight, clarity, open, breakout, liberty, important, pay attention, lock, unlock, helpful. 33. Another eight there too. So you do have clarity coming or this person has gained clarity because you're, you know, you could have queen of swords them. You could have empressed them. <laughs> Oops, we're not shuffling. What am I doing? <laughs> that was so weird. Um, thoughts, problems, doubts, hesitation, beyond view, unclear, confusion, indecision, misunderstandings. So this could be, you know, current energy between you guys. And you have clarity coming in. So we have, you know, being confused, misunderstandings follow, or we have clarity right before it. So beautiful energy, beginnings, innocent, brand new, creativity, spontaneous, carefree, inexperienced, tender, new perspective, girl. So we do have death and rebirth here. Um, I do believe this person is shedding that past version of themselves. You could also be shedding a past version of yourself, one that, you know, put up with bad behavior or put up with, oh, I don't want to say it, but you could have put up with breadcrumbs. The hanged man. So yeah, something you did here caused this person to reflect. Um, this is an energy of going within and trying to listen to intuition. It's possible, you know, we had the high priestess here, so you could be heightening your psychic ability right now. I feel like this person has some kind of part of your spiritual path. And the more you grow with them, the more you evolve. Win, victory, reputation, success, key experience, merit, goals, recognition, fame, deserve an award, ambition, achievement. So we do, that's like that six of wands energy. We do have success here coming in for you too. Wheel of fortune, fate, karma, cycles, forces of the universe, get what you deserve. It's out of your hands, destiny, synchronicities. You could be seeing a lot of synchronicities about this person right now. I believe that this person has been getting synchronicities about you for a while. They could have been ignoring them and it could have been this final you know, you choosing yourself over them that really, you know, woke them up. We have end of season, adept, connected, open-minded, wise, perfecting touch, editor, sees both sides, chameleon, chameleon, deceptive, empathic, changeable. So this person could have deceived you in the past. Um, and this could be about you seeing, this could be about both of you seeing it from the other person's perspective. Perhaps you have a conversation where you share how it felt, um, not a conversation where you fight, but a, you know, a calm conversation where you do get to see the other side of the story. We have writing communication. So there's a lot of confirmation about communication for those of you in no contact. 
writing, communication, fax, email, mail, notes, records, news, memo, making contact, info, written documents. Messenger, oh my goodness, this is, this is wild. Message, messenger, movement, message, travel, news, visitor, delivery, goals, green light, progress, full speed ahead. That's what I mean. It's like, it reminds me of the Three of Pentacles card in the Lightseer's Tarot. It's like as soon as that feminine on that card grounds herself and starts working on herself and gives, you know, essentially the red light, she, you know, put, she's sitting there working on herself with the red thread and the masculine's thread goes green. It's like you work on yourself, all of a sudden green light go. I know what I want. I'm talking about the penguin, not, not me or you. <laughs> we have white wolf, confidence, guidance, trust your inner knowing, believe in your power, instinctual freedom, resilience, stamina. I'm hearing for some of you, this person could be a lone wolf or they could be, you know, maybe they didn't think they'd ever settle down. Um, you could also see this person as your perfect match or as your only match with that white wolf energy. <sighs> Grounded. Didn't I just say about the feminine grounding? Grounded, fertility, lineage, health, vitality, roots, personal growth, past lives, evolving connection to source. This is your energy right now. We saw it that you are focusing on yourself and you're grounding yourself. You're no longer in your head about this connection. You could have, you know, said... If it's meant for me, it'll come back around. It won't pass me by. And that is, that's what happens when we step into acceptance. We truly step into acceptance and are able to let go. Um, an evolving connection to source. You had that high priestess energy. So I do believe you could be getting more signs than normal. Um, yeah, very interesting. Milky Way, networking, marketing, internet fame, expand, spotlight, innumerable, social media, publicity, connected, exposure. You could be in the spotlight or you could have a dream about being a healer. Um, another pause. My children were having an argument. That was just a quick pause. It was like a one second pause. So yeah, you could be, you could be uh, connecting with people through social, social media right now, or you could be, again, you could be on social media. The nine of pentacles energy that you have is an energy of, you know, you're giving off some kind of light that are drawing people in. So you could be getting a lot of attention online right now. This person could be watching you online or they connect, you know, we have a lot about communication they might reach out through social media instead of calling you. We have loons, deeply committed, uncommon bonds, family, manifest deepest desire, all in for what you love, reawaken lost hopes. I believe your, your person has realized this is a bond that can't be replaced. And, you know, maybe even though you're in acceptance, you lost hope. And we see your hope awakening here. Both of you, your hope. Oh my gosh, this is about hopes too. Wishes do come true. Peace, miracle, dreams, feeling blessed, hopeful, falling in love, nighttime, inspiration, providence. And we have public venues, society, crowds, audience, party, meeting, event, a date, community, outdoors, playing the field. So you could run into this person when you're out in public. Um, or they could, you could see them at a party. This can also talk about you and them. You know, we saw the Hierophant card, so possibly booking a venue. Look at that, 2-2. Two, two. Very mirrory. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get you terms and letters now. So, terms and letters. It's now officially dark. I'm not sure how I'd feel about doing readings without natural light, but I'm getting used to it. We have K, K, R, D, A, Q, 
D, S. Why can't I grab any of these? W, C, N, Q, two Qs again. JJ, we have a JJ. Hi, JJ. <laughs> I, apparently one of you has a dog named JJ. So now Dan could be relevant or Brad. I see Brad and Dan. B, G, M, E, H, L, T, Brett. Lots of masculine names. X, B, I. Charmies. Some shells there. Shells could be relevant. All right. So we have a fan. So summer could be important. Um, I also get being guided or sorry, uh, divine timing or wheel of fortune. We have two ships wheels. So that's symbolic of uh, both of you. Oh, look, they're slightly different. That's cute. Both of you could have, you know, been on different journeys before coming back together. We have this adorable pink moon. So, you know, divine feminine energy. We have a ram here. I think it's a ram, whatever that is. We have a butterfly transformation, miracles. We have the little mermaid. The little mermaid could be relevant. We have Cupid's arrow. So I, again, you're going to be hearing from this person if you haven't already. We have that beautiful moon with all those colors that reminds me of like chakra energy so you could be balancing your chakras we have a gingerbread man shrek could be important or christmas you have a girl or a child another butterfly we have this cute little triangle we have a violin so music could be important here we have a flower What's this? Oh my gosh, it's a happy little blue cloud. We have a four leaf clover. We have music notes. So again, music being important. Lots of moons. So I feel like I have a lot of divine feminines here. We have a seashell, another shell. We have the broken snowflake. I feel like that's symbolic of something. Nobody's perfect, maybe. Everybody's different. I don't know. We have a sheep or a lamb, however that resonates. We have a lock. Uh, another butterfly. A clothespin, that could be relevant somehow. And we have this tiger, which is also divine feminine energy. And Saturn. So those are your charms, you guys. All right, so I'll still be back with a few more readings before I go away. And thank you to everyone who continues to support me and leave comments. I just love you all, and I, I really am blown away. Um, this morning I hit 4,000 subscribers, and for someone, you know, who's only been here two months, I very much appreciate all the support that you guys give me and all the the love that you've shown me. I just, I will never be able to repay you for, you know, your part in my life. And you guys, whether you believe me or not, you're all a catalyst in my own life. Um, I couldn't be doing this without you. So thank you so much. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll be back soon with another pick a card. And until then, I'm sending you lots of love. Bye. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your readings. So you'll notice the sun has gone down. Normally, I do my readings during the day because I'm a little picky about light. Um, I actually don't like artificial light. Is this straight? I actually don't like artificial light. I am a photographer, and I've always preferred natural light. And I mean, oh, sorry. I'm just, I'm not even saying hello to you. Anyway, 
the lighting's different because the sun has gone down. So I have a ring light. Um, again, I won't normally do this, but while I'm away and if I ever have to film at night, I will be, I'll have this weird light set up. But anyway, I did start in the daylight, but now it's dark. So I was so rude and I didn't introduce or welcome you. Hello, Pile 2, if you chose this beautiful Labradorite heart. Isn't that gorgeous? It matches my ring. And I'm also wearing a necklace that's Labradorite right now. So beautiful. And the Anime Tarot. This is going to be reading all about what's coming next for you and your person. It's kind of a you and them. Um, please only take what resonates. I'm just going to put that crystal away. So first I'm going to shuffle to see what energy, or sorry, I am going to shuffle the cards and then we'll look at the oracle cards to see what's happening in this connection or what's coming next. Ooh, we have death. Interesting. Interesting. Potential of a rebirth. So guys, who chose the anime tarot? Do you guys like anime? I actually was never, um, I never watched a lot of anime, but one of my, well, a couple of my kids are very into anime. So I actually bought it, you know, because they were so into anime and it helped me feel connected to them. So your cards, we have baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. So this is saying that you're you're going to be asked to take take a leap of faith towards something that might not even make sense to you or you might you might be urged to do something or I guess it depends what's what else is happening with your person but you might be intuitively urged to hang on or let go we'll get into the energy before I go too much into that but it is a message of even if you can't see that it's going to be okay, even if you're worried, even if it doesn't make sense, Spirit's saying, take that leap of faith. We have abundance. Very interesting. So abundance coming in for you and your person. Yeah, you guys had two cards here. Um, you're the only pile that had two cards. We have determination and dreams. And for the energy that both of you, I'm going to neaten these up in a minute. Uh, these energies are meant to represent the two of you. So we have the page of acorns, disco discovery and enthusiasm. This is the page of wands. So this is fire energy. And the eight of acorns, energy and results. So... I'm actually, so for pile one, I explained that kind of who I thought these energies were, whether it was the viewer or the person. Um, I do feel to me, I feel, and you know, your energy could be mirrored. So only take what resonates. You could resonate with this side or this side. Um, the way that I was taking it was that you are the eight of acorns, which is the eight of wands. I had to pause it because my children are fighting again. Uh, something was in the air. Well, actually, they weren't fighting. They said they were role-playing fighting, but anyway. Um, what I feel, and again, it could be reversed. I do feel like this is your energy, and this is your person's energy. So before we get into these cards, I am going to get Tarot to give us more messages because right now I'm hearing lots of different messages, and I just kind of want to narrow it down here. You guys have so many cards. All right, so we did shuffle these. So first we're gonna look at, 
We're going to look at your thoughts and feelings. I think this is you. So just take it as it resonates. Please show me the viewer's thoughts and feelings about this connection. We have the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay. I kind of, that makes sense. Let's just move all these up so we have lots of room. Anyway, it is what it is. You guys had an extra card, so we just have to, we all have to fit in. <laughs> you know what? I'll just leave it like that, I guess. I don't know. I don't like that either. All right. Um... I feel like this person was very slow moving in the past. This is the Prince of, or sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel like this person was moving very slowly in the past. And possibly, you know, you wanted a new beginning with them. And they were just moving really slowly. Um, let's see your person's energy. Your person's thoughts and feelings or energy right now or what's coming for this, their energy. Oh my goodness, yeah, we have the Six of Cups. This person is trying to make amends with you. They wanna work on this. Even though you guys have been through a lot, they wanna work on it. What else? We have the Six of Cups. Oh, look at all this, ener this water energy. How are they feeling? The Prince of Wands. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to see hidden factors blocking or hindering this connection. We have the Five of Cups. Okay. Interesting. So what I'm seeing, we have Ace of Wands on the bottom. So there's a lot about a new beginning here. So what I'm seeing is I believe that you and your person are about to have a new beginning or you've already started a new beginning. Um, I feel like this, you know, I feel like there was a lot of cups or energy emotions spilled within this connection in the past. Um, I do, you know, I am getting that this is you, this eight of acorns energy results. And this determination energy, I feel like maybe, you know, we saw the Knight of Pentacles. So this person could have been very slow moving or maybe you've thought that they weren't interested. We do have the Knight of Wands, which shows me that this person in the past, they could have run from this connection. They could have been intimidated by it or, you know, been of a bit would have. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied. Possibly they were a player or they had hot and cold energy in and out of your life on and off again, that type of thing. Um, there is something in your past here with this five of cups energy. There is, you know, that's what's blocking or hindering your connection right now. Um, so an energy of not being able to let go of past regret. I do see that this is someone that you're very drawn to. Maybe you don't understand why they're, you're drawn to them because with this action card, follow your intuition before it makes sense. To me, I feel like in the past, this person could have hurt you or maybe they're different from your usual type or maybe... Maybe they hurt you in a way that in the past you wouldn't have put up with that, but intuitively you've never been able to, um, intuitively you continue to be drawn to this person, even though there were cups spilled, even though there was this Knight of Wands energy, you still feel this bond and this love for this person. I think that for a lot of you, you're about to have a new beginning or you're already in a new beginning um, because your energy we have the eight of cups and the ace of cups and you know together that makes wish fulfillment so what I'm hearing is 
Right now we have the, the eight of acorns, which is the eight of wands. I do feel right now you may finally be seeing the results of all the hard work you put in. Eight of acorns is eight of wands. Here, I can do this. That way it's not all crammed together or up and down, blah, blah, blah. Um, I feel like you may have put a lot of energy into this connection in the past and not, maybe you didn't see the results, um, but something intuitively just kept telling you to pursue this person or to forgive this person or to give this person another chance. And in the past, you might have not done that or that might not have made sense to you in the past to do for anyone else. But your intuition is telling you that this is the right person for you, even though there was past difficulties. Um, let, me, <coughs> let me grab my book. <coughs> Excuse me. Pile one, I had to pause it like 20 times. It was crazy. So I'm just going to read you the keywords to this in love. So this is talking about um, dwelling in feelings of self-pity. So there could be an energy of you dwelling on past things this person did. Um, possibly, again, you don't understand why you're forgiving this person or why you still want this person because you could still be thinking about these past hurts. I believe that here, this person did something that made you walk away. Um, maybe not, but this is an energy of walking away from what no longer serves you. And it can represent walking away even from someone you love. Like all the cups are still standing, but it's no longer serving you in the right way. So you could have walked away from this connection and then all of a sudden this person could have changed their energy towards you. Um, you could have felt a surge of energy from them as soon as you energetically release them with the Eight of Cups, because we also see the Ace of Cups here. So you could be, there is something about you following your heart to this person, even if you don't understand it. Um... This also talks about tension. So there could be some kind of tension between you blocking this right now. Maybe there's a conversation you need to have before you guys can move forward. Um, I do feel like this person is very enthusiastic about you right now. They're coming up as the page of acorns, with, which is the page of wands, um, which makes me believe this person has a newfound, you know, this says discovery and enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. I believe all of a sudden this this person, maybe when you pulled your energy back, started showing, you know, attention towards you or enthusiasm about this connection. And maybe part of you doesn't trust it because you've been waiting so long to see action. You've been waiting so long to see energy. Maybe you've been waiting for this person to come back after running away. Um, but this person is, you know... For a lot of you, I feel like they're either thinking about union, reunion. You could already be working towards that for some of you. Um, but this is also this person, if you're not in contact, they could be heavily thinking about you. It's like they have this new enthusiasm for this relationship. And actually, this Prince of Wands can also resemble someone that... It's similar energy to pile one, actually, that, you know, it's almost like they're, they want to move forward quickly here, or they want to come in passionately, or they're, maybe they're, with this discovery and enthusiasm, we do have a lot of fire energy here, Can't uh, sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this person could be filled with energy for you right now, and they could be they could be coming in differently than they were. 
in the past. Like in the past, they could have run from the connection. Now they they might be very enthusiastic. Um, like this ram with the determination, the, the Prince of Wands, the Knight of Wands, is someone with a very determined attitude when they're going after something they want. I know that we talk all the time about um, the Knight of Wands being you know, that hot and cold player energy. That could have been your person in the past. I think right now they're, it's more about them having determination to fix this and not lose you. I'm just looking up this card for you. Courageous lover. Fearless. This is Sagittarius energy. I'm also hearing for a lot of you that with these two cards coming up together, they could be trying to heal this past. You know, I feel like they hurt you in the past with this Prince of Wands, the Knight of Wands energy. They could have, you know... I feel like it could have been a quite an, an unstable relationship if it ever did evolve into a relationship. It could have been just a situationship. Um, there's definitely something about the past between you blocking this connection. Ace of Wands. Um, I want to get another card for what's blocking it. Let's get a clarifying card for what could be blocking this connection. Um, for some of you, this person could, like, I see that you've put a lot of energy here and you're being guided towards this person. But for some of you, you know, you could, the past might be really haunting you here. We do have the Three of Swords. So interesting. That wanted to come out in reverse. This is what's blocking it. So, you know, this person, I keep getting the feeling that they really hurt you here. With the Ten of Discs in the reverse, that's Ten of Pentacles, you know, they might, what's blocking it at, is in the past or, you know, even right now, they might have a fear of settling down um, because the Ten of Pentacles does talk about, you know, settling down, having an abundant future. Oh, this is interesting. Um, this also talks about conflict between love and family outside opinions of love. So I know, well, first of all, for some of you, only take it if it resonates. Uh, there could have been a third party here in the past. That could be that regret. And you could be holding on to that pain. Um, actually, for blocking, we would be looking at this in the reverse. And... I feel like you have a fear of this person uh, hurting you again. This can be fear of being hurt again uh, or fear of rejection. Um, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse is talking about possibly you having family or them having family. Um, there's something with that that's interfering or the opinion of friends and family and if you guys you know if you've been here for the past little while with me I do talk about how friends and family don't usually approve of connections where somebody hurts us and you know it's hard for us because we're in this energy of we're trying to embody spirituality divine feminine divine masculine however it resonates to you you're trying to learn forgiveness and your friends are like, oh, that person's a loser. Forget about them. And it's like, well, I can't forget about them, but thanks for that advice. Um, so your friends could be blocking this connection as well. Um, or maybe you both have, you could both have kids and that could be blocking it because maybe you're worried about hurting your kids um, by moving on with someone else. That's a really specific message. That's not for all of you. So yeah, those were blockages there. 
Um, I want to see... I want to see what's coming next for your connection because that'll give us a good idea. I do feel like maybe you've tried to let this person go, but you can't. And um, I haven't even talked about the dreams card yet. You do have abundance here. So there is an abundant time coming. I believe that there needs to be some release here of the past. Actually, the Eight of Cups can also talk about releasing things from the past that no longer serve you. So, um, and I don't mean this person. I mean, maybe you're having problems releasing the pain that they caused you. But yeah, we do have abundance coming in here for you. That's why I feel like you guys are probably already talking. Um, maybe you're, you know going towards this person and people are saying like, what are you doing? Why are, why are you putting energy into that? And again, it's something that we can't really describe to someone who doesn't understand or hasn't lived through it. Um, I believe that you and this person dream about each other a lot, especially if your counterparts, um, however it resonates to you. I believe that Dreams have been a huge part of this connection. I feel like maybe you communicate in dreams or maybe you're healing things in dreams. You may be having or they may be having dreams about how they wronged you in the past. And the reason that happens is actually so that we can deal with those feelings. Okay, let's see what's coming next for these two. What's coming next in this connection? What's coming next in this connection? We have the Six of Wands. So we do have success here. We do have abundance here. Like I said, I'm not sure if you guys are in communication or not. It's really... I feel like you are because we have this Ace of Cups. So you're looking at this as kind of a fresh start. I believe your person is also looking at this as a fresh start with the Page of Acorns. That is that... It's the page of one, so it's a mini, the mini fool. So this person is, you know, taking some kind of leap here if they haven't already. But with that ace of cups, I do feel like possibly it's specifically this card that says action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. That makes me think that you're already and this, the eight of wands, that you're already moving forward with this person currently but I still feel like there's a few things holding you back, you know, but we do have success here. We have the six of wands. So, you know, this could be you guys making it official. Once you get past that five of cups energy, uh, you could make it official to family and friends. That's, you know, that's a big one when you've been through a journey with someone to make it official to the people who, love you and want to protect you. We do see the King of Cups here. So this person does, you and this person have a lot, oh yeah, a lot of deep emotion for each other. I feel like your person has finally realized how much they care for you and that's caused justice. You guys, yeah, you could be working things out right now. What else for what's coming for this connection? We have the hermit wanting to come out. So, you know, to me, that shows us that there has been, well, this is about healing, actually, and inner work. And I don't see you two doing this on your own. I feel like maybe you've both been, that's amazing. Um, just wait until you see what's coming next. Um, I feel like, you know, usually with the hermit, you think about going inward and doing the inner work. But what I'm hearing is that you're actually hitting a point with this person where you can start working on things together with the hermit, that together you both start to look inward. Again, there could be a conversation you need to have about past hurts, and it doesn't need to be like a he said, she said, or you said, I said, or I did this and you did that and criticize and, you know, but there is an energy of having success after you both take some time to reflect 
on your journey together on this new beginning, if that's what you're experiencing or you're about to experience. Um, coming out with the hermit. I feel like both of you have had an awakening to how important this connection is because for what's coming next, we have nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. And we have the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck. It is divine masculine energy. It's a very positive card. It's a sign of, you know, it's interesting how we have these two, these two here kind of frolicking and enjoying each other's energy. You know, I feel that's that this is where you two are headed. But there's just some, you know, final hurdles about past events that you need to get through. But yeah, divine masculine energy. And we this has come out a few times, this Ace of Wands. So I do feel that you and this person, after you connect and have this talk or you know, you look at this together, you are going to have um, spiritual growth within this connection. The Ace of Wands, you know, symbolizes passion and finding someone desirable, thinking about someone when you're in the mood. Um, it can talk about a passionate new beginning, but it also talks, we see this third eye here. It also talks about um, spiritual enlight enlightenment or having a moment of clarity, not clarity, that's Ace of Swords, having a moment of um, spiritual clarity or intuitively um, that causes spiritual growth within this connection. Oh, look, the Ten of Cups. Very cool. That's some beautiful energy for what's coming. Let's see what advice you need. What advice do you need about this connection? I wanted to say under that Ace of Swords, or sorry, Ace of Wands, you know how I saw the Ten of Cups? In between the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands was the Six of Pentacles, which is about you guys working really well together and finding a balance of equal give and take. And again, this reading is meant to be what's currently happening or what's about to happen. I don't really want to take all these cards. Oh yeah, Six of Pentacles again wanted to come out. So we have the Three of Cups. I want to get one more card. To me, the Three of Cups does symbolize, you know, it symbolizes nurturing the friendship bond between you, nurturing that connection between you. It can be about celebration. Um, maybe this is coming out for advice. So maybe, maybe you do. I'm hearing so many messages. Sorry, guys, I get so many downloads. Um, that's why it's funny when people say we're making this up because we get so many different messages. Um, one message I'm hearing is that to nurture the bonds of friendship, I see that card, nurture the bonds of friendship and your relationship will dramatically improve. Um, this can also talk about talking to your friends about this. Like if you are moving forward with this person and you're keeping it from them, you know, this could be symbolic of telling your friends, um, opening up to your friends that you and this person are working it out. Even if you're afraid to do that, if they love you and they're your friends, they'll support you and they will be there for you. Um, it's hard when your friends don't approve of a connection. It really is because your friends' opinions matter to you. And the reason I'm, I'm saying that you may be hiding it is because we do have the Nine of Wands, which is like a guarded wall up energy. So you could, you know, be keeping your friends out of your business. This could also be, if you're resonating with the fact that your friends don't agree with this, this is also an energy of possibly, this is what I mean about so many different messages. For some of you, if I'm telling you 
you should tell your friends and that feels icky and like you don't want to do that. There is an energy of waiting to tell your friends with the three of cups and the nine of wands. Yeah, you could have had a very painful ending with this person and your friends, you know, might not be happy to hear about this. And so again, take that as it resonates. For some of you, you may be ready to finally tell your friends and it may, you know, release a weight off your shoulders. For others of you that when I'm talking about telling your friends and you feel incredibly uncomfortable, listen to that feeling your gut is never wrong. That's your higher self. And that's what we mean when we say, if it resonates, you'll know. If it feels wrong, it doesn't resonate. So don't force it to fit. <clears throat> so for the ones who can't do that, there's an energy here of keeping it to yourself, uh, keeping the fact that you're trying with this person, keep it to yourself, keep it from your friends for now until you and this person, I almost see like a bike with training wheels. So once the training wheels come off, then that, you know, very interesting here. The Three of Cups is also about a mutually beneficial relationship. So romantic relationship. So for those of you that, you know, you're intuitively like not giving up on this person and now you find yourself trying to work things out again, I'm hearing, maybe for some of you. Um, Spirit's saying that you can trust this. This person wants to give to this now. They want to be a mutual partner. They want to be, they want equal give and take with you. They don't want to be the Knight of Wands anymore. What other advice do you have, Spirit, about this connection? I do get the feeling that for a lot of you, you are with this person, but so we have justice and five of swords. So to me, that that's a message that, you know, I feel like you guys are in the right place for this now. I feel like <clears throat> you've hit a point where I think you've both realized the ways that you were sabotaging this connection. Um, the five of swords can talk about self-sabotage and... Um, operating from a place of fear or past wounding and hurting someone. For those of you who are in no contact, I do feel like spirits telling you that this, you know, this is going to come back around. You are going to have justice here. Um, this person, it's interesting how this person's back is turned here. I've been talking about self-sabotage a lot on here and how we're not, we don't self-sabotage on purpose. And I feel like this is, this is a message from spirit. Maybe that's why I'm talking about self-sabotage lately so much. Um, I feel like spirit is saying again, that you can trust this, that in the past, the way this person was acting my cat is licking something. Can you guys hear that? Stop it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Spirit's saying that, you, you know, in the past, when this person did you wrong, they really were coming from a place, a really unhealthy place, a place that, um, you know, they didn't want to be treating you that way. And they do want Sorry, my cat. They do want to make this right here. I was just trying to pick up the stuff my cat was licking. Oh, there we go. Hopefully no more distractions. Um, I believe this person is working on this part of themselves. Maybe with that justice card, they want to take accountability there is a lot about taking accountability for past wrongs. So yeah, uh, let's see, advice. One more card for advice. We have the Two of Cups. So there is, look at this with the thread. Oh guys, that could be very symbolic for you. Look at that thread. 
you could feel like, um, you know, you could feel like your counterparts with this person. Maybe you tried to cut the cord. I don't know. Not that that's what this is about. It's just interesting how they have this red string of fate here. Um, for advice, we're getting two of cups and nine of swords. So, you know, there's more advice here about don't let anxiety get in the way of this beautiful connection. Don't let the fear of this person hurting you the same way get in the way of this connection. I do believe you can have justice with this person. Maybe this self-sabotage energy is actually... Um, you know, I keep talking about how we self-sabotage from a place of being wounded by pa our past. You could be... You know, when you worry about someone doing the same thing to you, when you worry about history repeating itself and you're constantly in your head about it, um, you'll hear me say, because I've learned from the people that I look up to, um, thoughts become reality. So if you're thinking these anxious thoughts that this person is going to repeat the pattern and you're just going to end up heartbroken broken again, um, there is an energy here of don't let that self-sabotage this connection. Don't let the past regrets, that five of cups, sabotage this connection. I do believe that you've put a whole ton of energy into this connection and maybe didn't see what you deserved out of it. But there's a message here that you're finally seeing results or you're about to, but you need to trust them. You need to trust this person that they did the work that they're coming in right here with the justice card. I actually, for the other pile, I kind of asked if spirit had any last words. I told spirit like, this is it for tarot. So any last words, you better get it out. So spirit, here's your chance. This is the last part of the tarot. So any last words about this connection? We have the four of cups and the six of swords. Oh my goodness, and the Empress and the Hierophant. And I don't know if you guys see that. I know what that is. It's the Ten of the it's the Ten of Cups. So I do feel like you put a lot of effort into this person and they didn't they didn't reciprocate it. And that could be, you know, we see this burning kind of wall there. This could be a wall here in this connection. Um, this is moving forward. You know, when I talk about the Six of Swords, it is about moving forward into calmer waters, but it's also about lightening your load. So, you know, if you're holding on to past grudges towards this person, that boat can't get any lighter. Um, the Six of Swords energy in the Light Seer's Tarot, you see the boat can finally move forward because she let three of the, she let three things from the past go. And all of a sudden her boat can move forward into calmer waters because she let those go. So there is an energy of releasing some kind of, I don't know why I'm hearing grievance. Um, that's not a word I ever use. Grievance? Is that... I don't even know if I'm using that right. Grievances, past grievances. Um, you're going to need to let go and trust in order for this to, you know, fully move forward. Um, I can talk from experience about being in a counterpart connection where they're trying to move forward. And I'm like, I was so worried about getting screwed over again or hurt again that I, I held on to those past hurts, almost like armor to keep me safe. And it did weigh that boat down. So there is something about letting past grievances go. Also, we have the Empress here. So for any of you that were looking for confirmation, you know, this is divine feminine energy. This is also an energy I feel spirit is telling you, you know, just accept this, sit back, and accept this. This is going to be a very abundant connection. Even if you're just in the beginning stages of moving forward, 
I do feel like, you know, most of my readings are about connections that are, have a lot of turbulence or have had separations. Um, sometimes I get messages about new love. But I don't feel like this is new love. I feel like this is... I really do feel like this is you guys... Rebuilding. And trying to move forward after some heartbreak here. All right, so I'm going to get some cards out of this Oracle deck. This is what I'm doing for Oracle cards for this reading. Okay, so let's see what comes out. Only take what resonates. This is a general reading. So what? show me uh, the viewer. Oh my gosh. Twin Flames. Show me the viewer and the person, please. Oh my gosh, this is such a long reading. I had no idea. Show me the viewer and their person. The viewer and their person. What do we need? Okay. It's on the floor. Hang on. We have Lily. All right. I just, yeah, I'm going to take that. I saw it and then it ended up on the top. All right, I'm just pulling in my chair, guys. Okay. So we have tower, standalone, guidance, government, institutions, ego, tall, corporations, legal systems. I don't know what that word is. Experience, hierarchy. So... You could have had a lot of tower moments with this person in the past and this person could have been coming from a place of ego but also i was talking about how you may be operating from a place of ego now because of what this person did to you in the past with that five of swords energy so it's possible that now you're the one that's keeping yourself it's not that you're doing anything wrong. You're, you're keeping yourself safe. That's the point of, or that's, our ego does keep us safe in some circumstances. You could also be traveling to um, the Eiffel Tower. We have Leap of Faith. So the first card we had out was this one. Action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. And I was saying, I feel like you're having to just take a leap of faith to trust this person. Um, we have leap of faith, easygoing, sudden change in direction, don't worry, moving on, prosperity, so what, birth of a son, and luck. Guys, I had a grasshopper land on me twice last week or the week before. Very interesting. I've never had that happen and then twice in one week. Different, different kinds of grasshoppers. We have new beginnings, fresh set goals and intentions, coming alive, growth, a surprise, Increasing excitement, rejuvenate, fertile, new cycle. Yes, bring into action. You, you have a lot about trust in this, trust in it. Just let go. Let go by, I'm hearing let go by Fru Fru. I don't know if you guys remember that song. It's from the Garden State soundtrack. Let go, jump in. What are you waiting for? Um, you know what? Where's my iPad? Now I gotta look up the lyrics. So much for my short reading. <laughs> Let go by Fru Fru. Fru Fru, yeah. I can't play it. 
because I'll get copyrighted or whatever. Listen to this. Drink up, baby down. Are you in or are you out? Leave your things behind because it's all going off without you. Excuse me, too busy. You're writing your tragedy. These mishaps you bubble wrap when you've got no idea what you're like. So let go, let go, jump in. What are you waiting for? It's all right because there's beauty in the breakdown. So let go. Just get in. It's so amazing here. It's all right because there's beauty in the breakdown. You guys should listen to this song. I feel like it's relevant for some of you. There's beauty in the breakdown. I love it. Anyway, I'm hearing that song, that let go and jump in. And there's beauty here. And it even said, don't let your past wrongs, whatever. Anyway, yes. Oh my gosh, the time has come. Yes. <laughs> Culmination of effort. Seeing results for all the effort you've put in. Completion, abundance, fulfillment, release, fruits of your labor, focus on your needs, harvest, moving on. Definitely, you guys are moving forward together. We have house. So this is that four of wands energy, you guys. Home, belonging, roots, comfort, safety, family, traditions, framework, structured, buildings, shelter, boundaries. I believe somebody in my comment section today was talking about one of the cards. I think it was the four of wands that I showed from a different deck the other day. And they were saying that it can symbolize... It can symbolize finally getting it right in this lifetime or like past cycles or past lives where you've been repeating, repeating, repeating that you finally conquer it. So I found that to be a very interesting interpretation. I love when you guys share interpretations because a lot of what tarot is about is intuition. And so you can't actually learn tarot just by looking at the meanings to them because the meanings are constantly evolving. And, you know, cards mean different things to different readers based on what they're channeling based on their own journey and how they experienced all of those cards. Yes, take inspired action. Look at all these cards of yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Start of the season, original trendsetter power, new experience, starts the party, leader ideas, burns out quickly, beginnings ignite. Yes, take inspired action. Spirit is saying, go for this. Ow, my elbow. <laughs> oh, this came out for pile number one. We have a new beginning, another new beginning. So you have a few about new beginnings, like four of them. Innocent, brand new, creativity, spontaneous, carefree, inexperienced, tender, new perspective, girl. We have thoughts, problems, doubts, hesitation, See, somebody here has doubts, and I think it's on your side. I think you're the one with the doubts. I believe your person in the past had doubts, but now they're like, oh, well, I'm in. I'm, I'm, you know, I feel like they think you're pretty amazing, and they, they're very enthusiastic about this new start, but I feel like you're worried because I feel like this person... You know, I I feel like they were indecisive in the past. I feel like there were misunderstandings here. I can't believe how much I'm talking. Oh my gosh. Twin Flames, you saw it. It was the first card that came out. Divine Partner, Soulmate, Activated Heart Chakra, Balancing, Yin Yang inner Energy, Reflection, Other Self, Catalyst, Awakening, Mirror, Reflection. We have Established, Ambition, Experience, Sexuality, achievement, longevity, mature, career, virtue, development, retired. So this, to me, is an energy that your person has matured and grown. And we have proposal, engagement, agreement, next level, promise, partnership, statement of intent, marriage, and union. And this is, you know, this equals seven, which is chariot energy, so forward movement. I definitely feel you guys are on the right path. Um... For a lot of you, I feel like you're just starting this new beginning or you've just come into union or 
pre-union, which is like where you hear from this person and you start sharing energy again. So let's get you some letters and terms. That was a complicated one. Not that you're complicated. I don't mean that. You're lovely. <laughs> Charms and letters. We'll do letters. So a reminder, you guys, that next week while I'm away, my setup is going to look different and I'm not going to like it because I'm, I don't even like that I had to do this at nighttime because I don't have my nice sunshine coming in. We have H, S, G, What's the hormone where they test if you're pregnant? What is that called? H. I'm curious about that now. Maybe somebody's pregnant. I don't think it's HSG, but it's, I can't remember what it is. R, E, D, red could be relevant. B, N, Y, I, baby, somebody could be pregnant. Maybe even this person are giving it another try because there's a little baby in your belly. Z U F A V Fave. You're my fave. You're this person's fave. Sorry, now I'm just playing with the letters. I just want to make sure I have New York could be relevant. So I'm going to reread them because I've been playing with them. H S R, you could have met in high school. R, B, D, N, Y, G, Z, U, F, A, V, E, J, W, M. J, M could be relevant. B, T, K, M, C, X, and I. So there you go, you guys. Wow, your reading is turning out to be a long one. I didn't mean to do that. I hope it resonates so that it's a good type of long. I don't know if you guys, when you comment, you look at my comment section. I find it, I've moved from, I've moved from finding comments offensive and like, almost they make me a little sad to wondering why is somebody spending their time <laughs> making the comments? Um, you know, I had somebody last night that was like, boring. It's like, well, why, why watch then? Like, click off. I don't care. <laughs> I'm here to help the people that, you know, need guidance and help. When I met, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. When I met that, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Music could be very important. When I met the person that kind of awakened me, not my counterpart, um, there was a person that I met that awakened me. And she told me she thought that I was destined to give people hope about love. And when she said that, I was immediately like offended because not because I didn't want to give people hope, but because I had a job and, you know, she said, I don't think you like your job as much as you think you do. I think you're meant to be a love reader. And I was like, no, I like my job. What are you talking about? And I got in my ego about it. Right. But turns out she was right. Um, I do feel I attract a lot of people who need hope and I'm okay with that. I'm okay to give that hope. There is always hope. I have it tattooed on me for a reason. Um, it's because I've been through a lot in my life and through every obstacle, through every ending, I always had this weird little niggle of hope inside of me that I never understood. And now I get it. It, it was my higher self. I get it now. All right, so we all look at this. We have a black swan. That is beautiful. It reminds me of twin flames, swans, but like one white, one black, yin-yang. Very beautiful. We have 
um, feathers. You could be seeing feathers. I saw feathers today while I was out and I forgot to pick them up. I'm so mad at myself. Um, uh, feathers can be messages from loved ones or the universe. We have a leaf growth. We have a turtle. This could have been a slow moving connection. An angel, you're being watched over. We have a little white key, very beautiful. And a happy face that looks slightly melted. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, we have this music, so music could be re relevant between the two of you. We have a lollipop. Um, Wizard of Oz could be relevant just because of the lollipop thing. We have a flower. Candy could be important. We have blue butterfly, all oh, beautiful. Blue butterflies could be a sign for you. Um, I have a blue butterfly tattoo. Actually, I... Is it just one blue butterfly? Anyway, we have a seahorse. We have a horse chariot, dragonfly, things happening beneath the... <gasps> Is that beautiful or what? Look at the little, the twin flamey soulmate dolphins. Oh my goodness. For those of you who resonated with pregnancy, that could be a sign. We have the imperfect snowflake. I think that's symbolic that, you know, to us, every snowflake looks perfect. And here we have this imperfect snowflake that could be symbolic of, you know, a connection that isn't so picture perfect, that does need growth and work. We have this heart, which does, it has the, it does have a music symbol on it. We have Saturn, grapes, triangle, clothespin. No way, we have two. Oh, look at the grapes. Look, we have two bunches of grapes. That's the cutest thing ever. Um, I need to look up what grapes mean right now. I feel called to look up what grapes symbolize for you. Grapes. Grapes are a symbol of passion, vitality, and strength. Grapes are practical, useful, and symbolic for good things like abundance, fertility, good luck. It's all about good luck. That's amazing. And you've got two of them there. So that's awesome. So there are your charms. And this is now at 5335 mirrored. 53, 35 minutes, and I think I paused it at one point, so a very long reading. Okay, pile two, I'm going to have to cut you off now. <laughs> I've spent too much time with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but not really. My pile threes are calling up for attention now. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I'll be back in a day or two with another one, and we'll talk then. So the goodbyes are getting easier. I hope they're getting easier for you. <laughs> I'm sure you were fine all the time with the goodbyes, but clearly I'm not. Um, my day is so much better now that I've spent some time with you. So thank you for that. And as always, I am sending you lots of light and love. Bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Lord of the Rings Tarot and the Clear Quartz, this is going to be a reading about you and them, you and your person, and what's happening or what's coming in the very near future. Um, yeah, I'm going to shuffle. Oh, look, we have the Empress. Beautiful. So, oh, we have a card upright. What's that card? Do you guys like Lord of the Rings? I love Lord of the Rings. All right. So... Shuffle these and then we're going to have a look at the oracle cards to see what's going on between you and your person or what's coming next. The other piles were interesting. All right. 
So before we begin, let's get to your Oracle cards. So for your Oracle cards, you will notice my lighting is different because the sun has gone down. So I'm using an, a light, which, you know, I don't necessarily like, but we have Jump In, Andromeda in Energy, Adventure, Say Yes to Change. Very interesting. So we see change here. We have Openness. Mm. Oh, you guys got two of these too. So the first card that actually came out was Romance and then Starting Over. So these came out together. Um, I believe that right now you and this person are having a fresh start. I do believe it's, you know, I don't think, I don't, mm, I don't know if this is a new person or not. Let's have a look at the rest of the cards. Um, so yeah, we have romance and starting over. I already know that. These cards are not all going to fit. And then I took two cards representing you and your person and only take what resonates. It could be that you resonate with the person or the energy that I'm labeling as your person. Um, that can happen. So we have the two of shells, union and harmony. And we have the Ten of Feathers, which is the Ten of Swords, Recovery and Transformation. So, I believe that I'm, I'm seeing two different scenarios. We'll, uh, we'll look at the tarot to get more confirmation. I'm seeing two different scenarios here. You're either in a connection where you're moving forward with someone from your past and you're starting over with them, or you're in a new connection and you are moving, you may be in a new connection where Maybe this person is very different from your normal person. They could have just been through, I feel like this is you and this is them. Ten of feathers, two of shells. Um, this person could have just undergone or recovered from something if it is a new person. So they could be coming out of a relationship. Um, there is something about them jumping into this. So for some of you, it could be a new relationship. For a lot of you, because it's what I usually channel, is I'm channeling a new beginning with a past person. But take it as it resonates, because I know that's not going to resonate for everyone. I was talking about it in Pile 2 that I seem to channel a lot of energy of hope and believing in these connections. And I seem to attract a lot of people that need that hope. Um... And once they have it, they can accept, like be in acceptance and then, you know, their person evolves and moves towards them. Anyway, so for a lot of you, I do feel like it's an old person that you're having a fresh start with. Um, or it could be that you, that could be your energy too, that you're starting over. Um, maybe you were in a connection where you thought, your life was all figured out and now you feel like you're starting from scratch. Um, that can be symbolic too of, you know, if you meet your twin flame, however you want to resonate with it. Um, the connection can be so intense that it blows your life out of the water and you realize you have to make, like, it's worth making changes for, um... Anyway, let's get some tarot so we can get a better idea of what's actually happening here. Before I get too into it, like I said, I believe this is your energy and this is your person's energy, but it could be reversed, so please only take what resonates. So let's look at your thoughts and feelings about this connection. That was on, that was on the back um, when I started shuffling. We also have the sun and the lovers here. So I feel like 
again, this could be, this could be relevant for old love and new love because we have Gemini energy. We have sun, divine masculine. This connection that you have with this person makes you feel incredibly good. Um, I do feel like you're starting over, whether that's with this new person or with the past person. I feel like you could have been blocked to connections because of what happened in your past. Um, we have this adventure, say yes to change, jump in. We have openness starting over. So, you know, you could have been blocked to a new beginning or maybe you thought you wouldn't find love again and you're feeling you know with the sun you are feeling a lot of energy from this person um, for those of you who resonate with a past person I believe that with the seven of wands this is also a, an energy of not giving up and determination so, you know, it could be that you are, I believe that you, you might already be in union with your person reconnecting um, because we do have the lovers and we have the sun. So with the two of shells there, you're feeling the love, you're feeling the connection with the lovers. I feel like you feel connected with this person again, the sun that can represent divine masculine and it also represents this positive energy that just gives you life. And it's a very positive energy. It's the yes card. For those of you who are resonating with a past person, I feel like in the past, oh my gosh, no way. We have counterparts here. Look at that. That's amazing. And we have the lovers. Um, I feel like in the past, you could have had to cut this person off or stand in your authentic truth. And maybe that's, you know, what made them transform because the King of Swords is someone with clarity. We do have transformation here. Um, there's something about this card that I noticed the other day when I had it in a reading. Let me just grab the book. Because it can talk about, well, I'll just read it to you. If I can find it. There it is. Love is in the air when the finch and the peach appear. The peach, a sweetly scented heart-shaped fruit, has long been associated with fertility, sexuality, and love. And the lively finch symbolizes exuberance, enthusiasm, and excitement. Your vibrancy and charm have led to a blossom, blossoming romance. Be open and accepting of new love's many delights. So yeah, this could be new love or old love. Um, you know, when somebody transforms and we begin again, sometimes once we get past the blockages, it can feel like new love again. Whoever this person is to you, spirit's saying to jump in. And then the other one. A rebirth is imminent. Summon the magical protection of the fern and wriggle free from old trappings. So you do have a rebirth here. And, you know, rebirth in love or rebirth with an old person. The snake and fern calls us to start anew, regularly shedding its skin. And look, your person, snake energy here with the ten of feathers. There's a huge snake there shedding a skin and it is called recovery transformation. So I believe that your person had to change before this could move forward, or possibly you both had to change before this could move forward. Regularly shedding its skin, the snake is a symbol of rebirth and transformative healing. And in many cultures, the fern is associated with new life and new beginnings. To the Maori of New Zealand, oh my gosh, I don't know how to say that, I'm so sorry. An image of the unfurling silver fern frond, or koru, I know I have New Zealand people here who can help me with that. Is a central motif, 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 I don't know, indicating growth and a return to one's origins. Together, the snake and the fern inspire confidence as we start over and embark upon a new path. 
So this is very beautiful. Like I said, I feel like it's a past connection. Um, but for some of you, this could be a brand new connection, one where you're transforming from your past. They're transforming from their past. They could have gone through something in their past where they are recovering from it and ending. But for a lot of you, I feel like it's a past person and you guys are, you know, exploring union finally. So let's look at their energy. That should give us more information. What are their thoughts or feelings about this connection? What are their thoughts and feelings? The Hierophant. Yes, they see you as higher level of commitment. They see you as someone they have a spiritual bond with, someone they're spiritually drawn to. They could see you as someone they have learned a lot from on this spiritual journey. That's Taurus energy, Leo, Gemini. We have water and air. Hermit on the bottom. Yeah, this is interesting because this person sees you as their wish fulfillment and their Ten of Cups. That's beautiful. Okay, Ten of Pentacles too. All right, we get it. <laughs> oh yeah, the High Priestess. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh look, we have... So guys, this is also divine feminine, divine masculine energy, um, high priestess and hierophant. Amazing. So I feel like both of you, they feel like you're destined to be together and that they can grow and learn from you and you can grow and learn from them. You guys could have a telepathic um, connection. This person sees you as their ten of pentacles. That's amazing. And on the bottom, we have the world and justice. So for you, for those of you who resonate with a past person, this is your time of justice. This is the time where this person has transformed and you guys are ready to move forward. Beautiful energy. So we do have the world, this person, they think the world of you, you could be at a distance from this person. Um, this person sees you as someone they're meant to do things with and accomplish things with, go on journeys with. Beautiful energy. Let's see hidden factors that could be blocking this. Hidden factors that could be blocking this connection. We have the Queen of Wands. So... We have the Wheel of Fortune. So I don't know if this is an energy right now. And this will only, if you know of a, a third party, this is for you. If you don't know of a third party, this energy isn't for you. Okay. Um, you'll know if your person had a third party in the past. This is past energy for me. Um, what's blocking this connection, I do feel like for some of you, there could have been a karmic partner that came in between you for a while and that was blocking this connection. Your person or you could have had to learn some type of lesson here. And so they could have had, you know, sometimes the queen of wands can be the karmic. Um, so there could have been a karmic situation. It doesn't even have to be a person that was blocking this connection or some kind of third party interference. Now I get karmic partner with that though. And for others of you, I hate to be the bearer of this, but sometimes the queen of wands as a blockage can talk about being too demanding and love demanding too much from a partner. And as someone who is a counterpart, I can tell you I've embodied this, the shadow of the queen of wands where I demanded too much. And the person wasn't ready to give it to me. And so that could have been a blockage in your past. The fact that you wanted more, maybe they weren't ready or vice versa. They could have wanted more and you weren't ready. And there could have been, you know, this hanged man, this period of retreat from each other. What else is blocking this connection or hindering it? 
we have the nine of pentacles so you guys could be holding on to you guys could be holding on to your single life or your person could be holding on to your, their single life or i'm hearing work might come important come important come first the nine of pentacles is an energy of working on yourself working on your own abundance it is the single card so it could be that you know you guys maybe you've been separate for so long you you have a problem being in this committed energy um oh we have the ace of rings on the bottom too that's beautiful um so yeah it could be that this person or you you're having there's something about working or you know focus all right pile three the reason that i'm seeing if that worked is because as i was doing your video you'll see that there's a lot more cards here now as i was doing your video it stopped recording so i went back i didn't know that it stopped recording so i went back to see where it stopped and i believe it stopped here <laughs> so i have no idea where i was um this was about blockages and we have the nine of pentacles so i'm not sure how much i talked about that about how you guys could be so focused on work or yourselves um or in the past that was an issue um what came out next so i did ask when I asked what was blocking it, I did get the Queen of Wands, so I'm not sure if we already talked about that. Maybe it was like that. I'm sure, I hope that we already talked about the Queen of Wands, just to go back, just in case. It talks about, um, it could be a karmic partner that, Wheel of Fortune was with that card. So it could have been a karmic lesson that that person had to learn. So that could have been a blockage, or it could have been a karmic party on your side um moving on past that because i'm not sure i don't want to repeat myself if that part is there um moving on i asked uh what's coming next in this connection and as i was shuffling i was staring at that card and i was thinking about oh look i forgot to mention you know divine feminine that openness and the empress came out as what's coming next so what i see happening next is you guys nurturing this connection, nurturing each other. I believe for some of you, only for some of you, you could with the Empress, that is an energy of fertility. So you could, you know, you could be pregnant or want to get pregnant or want to have children with this person. Um, you could be very fertile right now, I'm hearing. We, we had to come out with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so this person could be... You know, they are coming from a place of transformation here. So they could be moving very slowly. And, you know, it doesn't mean they're not focused or into this. Um, they very much are. This is a very stable energy. So I do feel like you guys are moving slowly. And, you know, that's okay. There's no need to rush. I know that we all want to rush. But in taking our time, we can actually build a stronger foundation. Um, on the back of the deck, we had the Three of Wands when I was talking about these two cards. And I was talking about how I do believe, you know, you guys have forward movement coming with Three of Wands. But that something, this person possibly needed to change something or you did in order to progress forward. I kept shuffling and I said one more about what's coming next and the three of wands came out again. So forward movement confirmed. Progression. You have progression here with this person. For your advice, we have the star, the six of pentacles and the two of cups. Again, I'm annoyed that I, you know, I pulled all these cards and I explained them all. Advice. We have justice on the bottom. So spirit's saying that, you know, you're getting your justice here and that you can trust in this. I was saying that it's possible your person had, they had the Hierophant and now we have the Six of Pentacles. 
So it's possible someone here had therapy or got some kind of spiritual advice about this. Um, also for advice for this, this is about equal give and take. So back to that Queen of Wands energy. If this person can't energetically match you and it becomes imbalanced and you... I did talk about how the Queen of Wands can be a demanding lover, demanding love and attention. They can be jealous. Um, so if this person isn't meeting you halfway to where you feel like they should be, there is this advice of not overgiving. Like, don't overgive to this person um, because that will create an imbalance. I believe your person is needing to take, like, baby steps and... They want to do this slowly and properly because they want it to be balanced. So there is an energy of trying to keep with that balance, trying to hold up your end of that by not overgiving. We also have the two of cups and the star. So, you know, I do feel like this is... I feel like this, this is a message that this person is healed. Um, I also get heart awakening with this just because of the green. This is Aquarius energy. Um, Spirit's saying that there is, you know, never give up hope on this connection because, well, actually we have the two of cups twice now because your energy was the two of cups. Um, I believe this person has healed and I believe Spirit's saying like, it's okay to, it's okay to have like, it's okay to let go. Um, this is definitely faded, this connection. I can't believe that wasn't um, recording all that time. Anyway, I had mostly talked about the other cards, so that's good. And now I'm just gonna check it constantly. So next what I wanna do is, you know, we kind of got the energy, what's coming next advice. This is where I ask Spirit if there's any last messages that they want to communicate with you through these cards. Um, this is the last chance, Spirit. Fresh start, new beginning, new chapter. You can trust this one. Knight of Rings, um, that's pentacle energy. This is pentacle energy. Pentacles take root, and this... This is a new chapter for the two of you, one where you build the proper foundation. I believe that you've both reflected and had periods where you had to pull back from this and do inner work. Any other cards, Spirit? Last time. This is the last shuffle. Any last messages? We have the moon. And the Queen of Cups. That's beautiful energy. So again, don't overgive. Don't overgive to this person. Um, keep some of that energy for yourself. Remember, if you resonate with Divine Feminine, um, don't give all your love to this person. Don't overgive to it. Save some of that love for yourself. Embody that Queen of Cups energy. If you are starting out, you'll hear me talking about it in some of my readings. If you're coming into union, it's very important to embody the Queen of Cups energy because it is going to be rocky and it's going to be, your person may not be able to match you right away and you might not be as close as you were before. Um, so, you know, show them your nurturing side, but don't overgive to them. And listen to your intuition, big one. If any of you are wondering if you're a divine feminine, I feel like, the fact that we have this and then we have the empress underneath this under the moon and then the moon under the moon, that's very symbolic of divine feminine energy. So now I'm going to get you some oracle cards um, from my big oracle deck just to see if there's any other messages about this connection. Let's get the cards. I'm going to give them a shuffle. Only take what resonates. This is a huge deck. It's a general reading. 
So not all of it's going to resonate. Let's see. Messages for pile three. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. So like I said, not all of these are going to resonate with you because it is a general reading. So just take what resonates and read the rest. Oh my goodness, look at all these cards. I'm kind of curious how many cards this is. I don't think I've ever pulled that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Interesting. We have tower, standalone, guidance, government, institutions, ego, tall, corporations, legal systems, experience, hierarchy. I do feel like your person went through an ego death. And I do, I was saying that I think they got some guidance from someone. We have road, crossroads, journey, multiple choice, travel, weigh the options, decide, free will, opportunity, independent road trip. Very interesting. Um, your energy was the lovers, right? So that does talk about a choice. Maybe you have a choice to make. Um, maybe you still don't know if you want to give it a go with this person. You could be traveling to see this person. We have the hermit. Analytical, hardworking, intelligent, reserved, helpful, critical, exacting, nitpicky, conscientious, responsible. So something could be happening in Virgo season, which we're already in. We have bear, boss, CEO, judge, coach, finance, benefits, wealth, mama bear, protective, strong, large, muscular, rich, uh, affluence, hairy. Your person could be hairy. Your person could be scary. <laughs> Your person could be named Larry. That's a horrible one. Um, that mama bear. Some of you could be pregnant or want to be pregnant. We have end of season, adept, connected, open-minded, wise, perfecting touch, editor, sees both sides, chameleon, deceptive, empath empathetic, changeable, empathic. Why did I read it like that? Changeable. So your person, you know, we did see they went through some kind of transformation or renewal. Um, they could have been deceptive to you in the past. And you could have had to, you know, try and see their side of the story. We have imposing, powerful, independent, time alone, attitude is everything, calm, cool, collected, confident, solidarity. That could be describing you or your person. Remember how when we were doing what's blocking it, we had the nine of pentacles? That's very interesting because this is giving me that nine of pentacles energy. Powerful, independent, time alone. So you guys, you know, you could both be very, you could both be like loners or lone wolves. And maybe that is a problem here with, between the two of you that you have to uh, learn how to let each other in. We have anchor, stable, enduring, solid, steady, restrained, secure, persevere, willpower, long lasting, persists persists per persists oh my goodness advantage fortitude very interesting anchors could be a relevant symbol for you guys we have stars wishes do come true peace miracle dreams feeling blessed hopeful falling in love nighttime inspiration providence we have ball and chain heavy weighed down codependency trapped restrictions addictions Unhap unhappy union or marriage, emotional baggage. Take that as it resonates. That could have been something in the past. We have falcon, rising above, ability, strategy, skill, focus, a transition, changes, higher self, third eye, far-reaching vision. We have mortal and pestle, blend, brew, alchemy, concoction, medicine, 
breaking things down, making something else work, making something else potion spell work. That's also, you know, Wheel of Fortune energy with the 10. We have judgment, total transformation, heed the call, renewal, surrender, awakening, rebirth, clean slate, fundamental changes, clearing and purging. Luck, happy, coincidence, unexpected rendezvous, a fling, good fortune, carefree, a reward, flirt, short-lived. An unexpected rendezvous, that could be interesting. We have win, victory, reputation, success, key, experience, merit, goals, recognition, fame. This is like six of wands, you guys, so you do have success coming in here. We have the world beautiful energy. We did have the world come up in your reading as well. So you and this person could be at a distance or you could be closing out some kind of cycle finally. Third person. So we did have that third party or third wheel. There could have been someone else could have been influencing your person and it doesn't have to be romantic. We have loons, deeply committed, uncommon bonds, family, Manifest deepest desire, all in for what you love, reawaken lost hopes. Oh, that's so sweet. Sudden, unexpected, accident, cut, release, harvest, liberate, shock, ripping off the band-aid, a surprise, a reckoning. So I did feel like there was karma that had to play out here. We did see that Queen of Wands in the... It doesn't have to be another person. It could have been... That reckoning, you know, this person could have mistreated you and had to face their karma. And sometimes that comes in the form of a third party or a karmic that does the same thing to them. We have new beginning, desire, timid, a sudden increase, clever, resourceful, resourceful fertility, multiply, sex, and procreation. So yeah, you could want a baby. We have steady, forward movement, one way, go the distance, direct route, autopilot, traveling, I think I can, on track, focal point. You're on the right track. Deception, jealousy, betrayal, backstab, toxic, silent treatment, seduction, sexuality, counterproductive. This is that Seven of Swords energy, guys. So, you know, I definitely feel like your person put you through something in the past because they're coming in completely transformed. Standoff, no way out, non-committal, hold out, delay tactics, tactics, blocked, refusing to compromise, opponent, competition. So this could be, you know, talking about some of the stuff you experienced in the past with this person. It doesn't sound, you know, it sounds hard. Fireworks, passion, chemistry, lust, desire, kiss, celebrate, happiness, exhilaration, New Year, excitement, explosive, hot sex. Or as my child calls it, smacks, because she doesn't like to say it. <laughs> Are you talking about smacks? That's what she'll say. Um, light bulb, an aha moment, discovery, breakthrough, reveal, realize, enlightenment, epiphany, illumination, invention, intellect. Beautiful. Communicate, negotiate. Chatty, debate, discuss, flighty, nervous, ADHD. Hello, my ADHD people. <laughs> Making eye contact, noisy, text or call someone. So we do have communication here. That's a very nice image, the two of you. You know, I believe it was this pile that I was saying you two may have to discuss the past, but that could have been any pile. I have, I get amnesia about the piles once I do the channeling. It's like I can't remember what I channeled. 10 minutes later. So yeah, these are your oracle cards, you guys. So you'll have to let me know in the comments how this resonates because I always say it like, as readers, we never know how this is gonna resonate with people. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy that my messages have been resonating for you guys and that you guys have, you know, I think it was pile one that I was talking about it in, but you guys are such a huge part of me living my dream because without you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep going. Like I wouldn't have the determination to keep putting myself out there. And I hit, you know, when I started this YouTube channel two months ago, I thought 
I'll be lucky. Like I'll feel incredibly lucky if I can get, you know, a small following that I can help. And I've just, I've, I hit 4,000 subscribers this morning, you guys. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the encouragement and support you guys give me. I also get a lot of you just emailing me to tell me like, keep doing what you're doing. Don't listen to the haters. And I just, again, thank you for taking the time out of your day to send me that energy because you have no idea how much it helps. And oftentimes when you guys do that, it comes at a moment where I'm feeling, you know, it's like you know that I'm feeling it. Um, it's magical. All right, letters. We have T, G, R, N, Y, New York, B, K, Burger King, <laughs> I don't know, Z, X, J, L, D, M, C, B, D, I get C, D a lot, S, M, I, C, W, Z, E, X, O. So there are the letters. I'm still so annoyed your reading got cut off. That'll teach me to keep looking at the... I have no idea how long it hadn't been recording. All right, let's see what we have. Um, okay, we have a candy cane, so Christmas could be important. We have music. We have this beautiful key. Very nice. Rebirth. Whatever that is. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. To me, that looks like building a foundation, building blocks, building a foundation together. We have a boat, so taking a trip or receiving news. We have a moon, lots of moon energy in your reading. We have a horse, chariot energy, forward movement. We have Hello Kitty playing a violin. We have a whale tail, so whales could be significant, healing, music again. Uh, we have a Christmas wreath, so Christmas could be relevant. We have a peace sign, four leaf clover, a rose. Rose could be significant. I also watched Titanic recently, so Titanic could be significant. We have a koi fish. We have a butterfly. We have a bicycle. One of the piles I was talking about a bicycle with training wheels. I don't actually know if it was this pile, but that's interesting. We have a Christmas tree. We have a snowflake, so a very unique connection, a very delicate connection. Look, guys, we have this weird star. Somebody made a comment and said that this star looked like something their daughter made, I think. So that could be relevant. Yeah, it's either a shooting star or a mistake. <laughs> and you know what? I don't believe in mistakes. So, well, that's not true. Anyway, um, Saturn, green. We have, a that's like Cinderella, so chariot energy possibly. We have a musical heart, so music could be very important for you guys. I'm going to try not to freak out. We have two starfish. We have, oh, we have two four-leaf clovers too. We have a mermaid, so little mermaid could be important. Um, we have a sunflower. And look, guys, I'm telling you, I'm getting a lot of, for a lot of you, maybe pregnancy because... Like, we do have these teas. Oh, no way. Well, I think it was pile two that had a black swan. That's very interesting. Um, anyway, this can be, you know, you and your person. But for some of you, this can also represent that. For those of you who represent or resonate with wanting a baby or being pregnant. Little baby. Little baby seahorse. So there you go, guys. I'm going to stop it here. <laughs> I hope this resonated. Um, it was really strange because in every pile I had interruptions and um, weird things happen. You got to love uh, Mercury and retrograde. Retrograde. Hey, I can't even speak. Um, but yes, thank you so much for joining me for another reading. When I looked up, you guys, it said the timer was 
two, three, four, five. Very interesting. So you're on the right path. Um, keep following your intuition. Keep doing what you're doing with your person. And yeah, thank you again for joining me for another reading. Um, my setup is going to look different as of Friday because um, I'll be away, but I'll still be here doing readings. Um, I can't leave you guys. <laughs> I just can't. You're my happiness. So yeah, um, thank you again, Pile 3. And until next time, I am sending you so much love and light. Thank you so much. Bye.